hello everyone and welcome to Groovy Sauce and today I'm going to be checking out Red Baron's Classic Crust Pepperoni Pizza. Now I absolutely love pepperoni pizza. It's the go-to, the standby, the American favorite and this is also from Red Baron. They've been around forever so they should know how to do pizza correctly by now but I think there's only one way to really find out and that's to open up this box, throw it in the oven and find out for sure. All right, everybody, I got a couple of slices here hot out of the oven, but before I dig into them, I just want to give you a nice look at the individual slices here. Uh, as you can see, it looks like your traditional, wonderful looking piece of pepperoni pizza. The one thing that I will note here, though, is that the crust does look a little bit thicker than your traditional, regular style crust frozen pizzas. So with that being said, I think the only thing left to do is just to go ahead and give it a bite. So let's go ahead and do that. I was correct on the crust. It is a little bit thicker than your usual regular type of uh, pizza. Not as thick as like your rising crust type pizza, but definitely bigger than your traditional regular run of the mill type uh, frozen pizzas, which is the regular original type crust. I absolutely love the cheese here too. It has a little bit more of a uh, savory quality to it. A little bit, maybe a little bit even smoky, even. Maybe that might be the pepperoni though, but one more bite. Mmm. I absolutely love that flavor. The cheesery, the cheesy, the cheesy savory flavors here absolutely delicious. Everything about the cheese and the pepperoni here I think is absolutely perfect. The sauce here really good as well uh, but I think this might be one of the better pepperoni pizzas in terms of it being having a very savory type of quality to it. Absolutely love this so far. One more bite. That cheese is fantastic here. Absolutely love it. They didn't skimp on the cheese either. Everything is coming together perfectly here. All right, so we're here at the crust. A little bit of cheese here on the crust. Maybe you can get the other side. More of just your st standard uh, crust flavor. So let's just go ahead and get a just the flavor of just the crust by itself. And I really do like the crust here too. It's nothing super duper special, but uh, I like it nonetheless. Everything's shaping together to be a pretty great pizza here so far. One more bite, get to my final thoughts. All right, everybody, so the Red Baron Classic Crust Pepperoni I thought was pretty great. It did what it did as a basic pepperoni pizza very well. The crust here I thought was a little bit thicker than your run-of-the-mill type of pizza crust. It's definitely not a deep dish. It's definitely not a rising crust, but for just a basic type of crust pepperoni pizza, I thought it was a very good size in terms of the thickness. The pepperoni flavors here are really nice. The sauce here I thought was also really nice. The crust, really good. Nothing really, again, to write home about or alert the news media, but uh, it was definitely good. I think the highlight of this experience, though, was definitely the cheese. The cheese had such a great, just savory type of quality to it. That might have just been the fact that it was just so plentiful on this pie. I absolutely love that specific part of it. The pepperoni also just mixed very well with that amount of cheese that was there. Uh, would I recommend this? Definitely. If you're looking for your basic just bargain bin 
uh, just low cost pepperoni pizza. This would be a great option. It's also not a bad tasting pizza at all. I would definitely check this one out again. So if you're curious as to whether or not you should get the Red Baron, just classic crust pepperoni, definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, and I think that's all that really needs to be said here. Make sure that you like the video if you like the video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content from me. I don't always do food reviews. Sometimes I also do video game gameplay and just about anything else I feel like doing whenever I have the free time. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.